Hello, good evening students. So I hope you all are well. So again I have come back to the channel. So last in my last video that I have completed up to the taste of protein. So now today I will explain how you can taste fat and this is also the last activity from this chapter. So how you can taste fat in different food items or with different food items. So directly let's come to the main point. Let's see how you can taste. And one more thing, uh, after this session, uh, one more video will be added with it. So there you can see properly how you can taste by your hand also. So let's see, come to the main point. So today our topic is taste of fat. This is the fourth activity from this chapter that you know very, very nicely. So and this is also the last activity from this chapter. So experiment. So see here, take a small quantity of food item. Take a small quantity of food item. So you know which type of food in which type of food items the amount of fat is maximum. So you can try with nuts, boiled eggs, etc. So you can try with nuts, boiled eggs, etc. Many more food items are also available. So in which the uh, amount of fat is more, so you can try with those food items also. So now after taking the food item, wrap it in a piece of paper. Wrap it in a piece of paper and crush it properly with something you can have to crush it. Now while you crush or crushing time, you have to take care the paper does not tear. The paper does not tear. Now straighten the paper after doing that crushing, crushing process or after crushing the uh, food item inside the paper you have to make it straight or straighten it the paper and observe it carefully and observe it carefully then come to the observation you will see an oily patch on it on it means on that paper you will see an oily patch on that paper hold the paper against light hold the paper against light so you able to see at that moment the light faintly through the oily patch through this patch the portion of the paper becomes translucent that you know three types of materials are there transparent translucent and opaque so the light through which materials light can pass easily are called transparent so like uh, clear um, uh, what clean water clear glass are called transparent now translucent through which light cannot pass properly means some some of the part uh, of the light can pass uh, pass through that material so same type of condition will occur here means no, with the, from the or through the normal paper light cannot pass properly but when there should be a patch or there should be an oily patch on that paper due to the presence of fat in the food item so through that particular portion light can pass faintly so that paper or, or the portion of the paper becomes translucent so then result an oily patch on the paper shows that the food item contains fat an oily patch on the paper shows that the food item contains fat so after this, one more related question should be there because this is the taste of fat. So that's why one more related question with this. That is, why do doctors discourage excessive intake of fats? Why do doctors discourage excessive intake of fats? Doctors discourage excessive intake of fats because Fats keep the body warm. If you will take more and more fats or uh, the food items contain more and more fats, then if you will inject it, then your body becomes warm. So excess intake of it are uh, stored in the body. So that particular food, uh, fat, it will also store in your body and cause obesity. So you will become obese. That you know. So more than overweight, that is called the obese condition. That is called obesity situation. So what is called obesity? Let's see. So obesity is a medical condition that occurs when a person carries excess weight. 
so when your body will carry excess weight that such type of condition or situation is called obesity or body fat means your the amount of fat in your body will become more and more that might affect their health so that is not good for your health that might affect your health so a doctor will usually suggest that a person has obesity if they have a high body mass index if they have a high body mass index so when you will become obese your body mass index that process already told in my two three uh, videos back so from there you know how you can calculate your body mass index so if your body mass index so this value is very very high means you are obese so this is the entire part regarding fat so now two things i have also written here extra so this is not related to this topic but in the previous video so i have explained about the various types of vitamins so they are not mentioned that's why like a note you can write from here the fat soluble vitamins the name of the vitamins which are very much soluble in fat or it will dissolve very easily in fat so the names of the vitamins are a d e and k these four vitamins are highly soluble in fat and water soluble vitamins are like b complex so lot of vitamins are there in b so this is called b complex that's why so b complex all the vitamins of b are water soluble and with that c and p so these three vitamins are generally water soluble vitamins so in that table also vitamin b uh, is written that very very that deficiency disease that you know so that vitamin so not only that many more vitamins are there in b so that's why it is b complex so watch it properly vegetable oil is a hundred percent fat a simple test is to rub a sample onto a piece of paper and then allow the paper to dry hold it in front of a light and a translucent mark indicates the presence of fat to find out if any of these foods contain fat first grind the solid food samples in distilled water A small amount of the liquid from each sample is then smeared onto a filter paper and left to dry. They all look translucent to start with because they're wet, so it's important to leave them to dry for a few minutes. Here are the results. Only the nuts contain fat. So students, I hope you all have enjoyed this session and you all have understand uh, this uh, part of your uh, of this chapter properly. So up to this today and wait for, wait for my next video. Thank you. Visit again.